Now it's a bit of a shock to discover that the sexy Feline is based on the sensible 607 saloon that's due to go on sale in the UK in July. Of course it shows just how much a manufacturer can do with one platform. I mean just ask Volkswagen who seem to be intent on taking over the world with a platform from the Golf. Now Peugeot of course are known for producing cute little super minis but supercar territory is something that they haven't ventured into before. Yet whilst the Feline certainly has supercar looks that could rival a Ferrari or a Porsche, the good news is that the price tag won't leave your bank balance in tatters. If Peugeot ever do make it, it should be priced at around 40 grand, which isn't bad for a car that packs a 3-litre V6 engine that can power up to 140 miles an hour. Wow, just look at in here, it's an absolute riot. Sitting in the cockpit, you're very aware that the bonnet just stretches away in front of you. This car certainly is all bonnet and not an awful lot else. You're just about to squeeze two people here in the cockpit. It really is minimalist motoring. You've got a couple of dials, controls for the air conditioning. That's really about it. But the very best bit is a remote control that works the air conditioning, the radio, and would you believe, even adjust the driver's pedals for you so you can get the perfect driving position. Very nice. Wow! Well, with the Paladine or Paladine, and I'm honestly not sure which it is, Peugeot have decided to explore the luxury and executive end of their 607. So we have a 607 platform, stretched and lengthened with, I suspect, a 306 dropped in sideways, maybe, and then inside every executive luxury gizmo you could have. It's a kind of mega first-class air cabin in there with fold-out tables and computers and matching glasses. And in an interesting reverse of the very old-fashioned luxury cars, where the poor old driver or chauffeur sat at the front with no roof all exposed to the element and the passengers were comfy and enclosed, it's, it's the other way around. The roof here folds back into the boot, so while the driver's enclosed in nasty, boring, stuffy car, the passengers at the back can sit back and enjoy the feeling of the wind through what's left of their thinning executive hair. Very nice. The, the designers were given complete freedom to uh, express themselves. There's a limousine, talks about luxury and comfort, and obviously there's a sporty, exciting performance version. So, who knows, Richard? There's, there's every chance, depends on your reaction, depends on the reaction we get from the public. There could well be some derivatives, some exciting uh, models along the lines of these cars here.